Do you want to create subtitles like some of the best YouTubers in the world? Hell yeah! And cut some corners while doing it? Well in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do exactly that. In one of the latest updates to DaVinci Resolve you have automatic subtitling and it's quite literally magic. I can't wait. My name's Dan and you're watching Dan Vinci. Okay, so before I show you how to make automatic subtitles, I must stress this. This is a DaVinci Resolve Studio only feature. So if you have the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you unfortunately will not be able to do this. I just wanted to specify this at the beginning of the video because I'm sure a lot of you are on the free version. But if you're on the free version thinking of upgrading, this is certainly one of the reasons why you should. Automatic subtitling is incredible. So first we want to create an in and out point. So if we go to let's say the beginning of our timeline here, click in and it'll create a marker and let's drag to let's just go to here and click O for out point. Then what you want to do is go to the top left. <coughs> ah. Then what you want to do is go into the top left corner and click on timeline. From here scroll down and you'll see create subtitles from audio. Here a little menu will pop up. Now you have an awful lot of customizability here so you can go auto for the language. So this is fantastic if you want to make a video in Spanish, Swedish, Japanese, Korean, French, basically everything. Well, not everything, but you, you get, get the idea. Quite a lot of languages. How many languages do you speak? You've got caption presets, which are nice. You can also limit how many characters there are per line. This is useful for, let's say you're making TikToks and you have a small margin where, well, you can't really fit much text at all. You can lower this to, let's say, 20 characters. But in our case, let's stick it at 35 because we're a widescreen and we have loads of space. Then we can also select whether it's on a single line or a double line. I'm going to leave it on single simply because that's my preferred preference. So let's click create and look at this. Magic. ka -chow. Ka -chow. So what this does is creates a subtitle track in your timeline. So if you've never seen this before, it sort of acts very similar to the other two tracks in terms of video and audio. You can move it around like this. You can adjust the height of it, the track. If you've used DaVinci Resolve before and you're familiar with video and audio, this shouldn't be too scary for you. So this is really, really nice. And so far, looking at a quick glance, it doesn't seem to have too many errors. I'm pretty happy with it. So from here, we can do some changes. So to make changes to the subtitles is rather, rather simple. So click on a preferred subtitle that you want changed. And in the top right corner in the inspector tab, you you will notice that there is a nice long list of all the subtitles that have been generated in order, which is fantastic. So you can just click on these and you can very quickly make changes. So if you wanted to add something like hello, there you go, it's been added to that subtitle. Obviously I don't say hello after that, it'd be very weird. Hello there. But you get my point here. This video has been officially interrupted by Audio. Today's video sponsor. Audio is a budget-friendly, royalty-free site that gives you access to a massive library of sound effects and music that not only sounds really good, but genuinely from my own personal experience, doesn't actually sound royalty-free. Once you've subscribed, any of the music or sound effects that you download while you're subscribed are yours to keep forever. Basically, let's say you download 150 songs or 200 songs for 200 various projects and then you cancel your subscription. That little audio music sound effects library that you've built up, well, you don't have to delete it. It's always yours. What I genuinely personally quite like about audio is the fact that one, their website is actually fairly easy to navigate. There's a lot of other competitors of theirs that are just messy. They sent me a link, which I'm going to put in the description that you can follow and put in the code DANVINCI for 70% off your first year of Audio Pro. So it'll go from 199 to this 59 madness but otherwise let's jump back into it what you can also do is if you want to customize all of the subtitles at once instead of you know clicking on each and every one you can click on track in the inspector tab now the track is effectively this whole section here the subtitle track so everything you do in here affects all of the subtitles which is fantastic so let's say we want to change the font to I like Proxima Nova and let's make it mm, let's make it make it light why not and let's increase the size of the actual text so as you can see what's happened here is it's too big to fit on the frame that's fine we can just bring it down like so there you go that easy and now obviously there's a load more controls like drop shadow background a lot of tiktokers use this background just so that it's a bit easier to read on on your little phone and if you want to customize a very specific caption and not customize any of the others well you can do that too so let's say i want to customize this subtitle right here well under the inspector tab in the caption button 
you will see a little tick box called captionize cash caption caption i'm losing it today it's been a long day customize caption click on this and you'll get some caption style editing controls which is nice and what you do in these controls here will only affect this one subtitle so let's say i want to make this subtitle much bigger than all the rest or even change the font to something entirely different or even move it down like that. There you go, you've created two separate subtitles that are completely different to one another. So now you've learned how to make professional subtitles automatically within DaVinci Resolve. I wanted to ask the question, do you guys want to see a transcription video? If you haven't heard, DaVinci Resolve also has a transcription feature, which is really useful for, let's say, long form interview content. It gives you the ability to see exactly what everyone said in the video, click a word and hey presto, you're at that specific point in the video. I've had a lot of requests for a tutorial about transcription. I'm definitely planning on making making something like this at some point. But if that's something that you're interested to see, feel free to subscribe or comment below or any other video ideas that you'd like to see. I'm really, really open to ideas. But yeah, that's basically the end of the video. It's been a short one, but a really, really fun one. I hope you guys find this really useful and you've learned something from it. My name's Dan, you've watched Dan Vinci, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.